spiritual contamination. So the family doesn't look contaminated until you begin to interact with them. And not then are you going to see you will also partake of their fear. And that related word is called sin. S I N. Sin. Even if you didn't even know this is there. We want to understand what sin is all about and how to be completely delivered from sin. So I'd like to just uh, take a little bit of background of sin, how it contaminates, then we are going to put our attempt on how to be delivered of sin, even if we indeed sin. I pray that the Holy Spirit will teach us by Himself that the speaker that is not blessed by His word. In Jesus' mighty name. Are you ready? If you are ready, I will not have a hand. Okay, are ready. In the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4, John, 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4, everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness. Because sin is lawlessness. If you want the definition of sin, that what you are seeing on the board, sin is also called lawlessness. And in the book of James 1 16, brothers, do not sin. Why is the Bible warning us not to sin? I know the way that minister put it in his drama. It looks very funny, but if you sit back and chew again what you are saying, not only are you a sinner doesn't, doesn't look like a sinner until you talk with them. And not only are you going to be a little bit of a is a sinner, you do not buy from the sin. Sin is like a cancer, like an infection. If you get to you, it's pressed to others. So we need to find a way of getting out of sin. It says here, this was his thing. My brothers, do not sin. And in the book of First John, chapter 2, the first two verses, my little children, John the Love is admonishing us here. He says, My little children, I write these things to you so that you may not sin. The very essence of our discussion, all the Bible passages that we are reading, all the places of worship, everything is just to, just to immunize us from that sin. In that sense, however, if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and the reputation concerning our sins, and not only the past only, but also concerning the sins of the world. Sin is that dangerous. Not just the three letter word alone, but if you find yourself in sin, we have an advocate whose eternity is to deliver us from sin. Don't even go there, but when eventually you find yourself there, you need to cry out to Jesus immediately. And let us look at how Isaiah opened his ministry in the book of Isaiah chapter 1, 2 to 4. Hear, O heavens, give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have not and brought up sons, and they have rebelled against me. Another word for sin is rebellion, a willful disobedience to a stipulated authority. My, my children that have not, they rebel against me too. Us knows his owner and they ask his master's prayer, but Israel did not know or does not know. My people does not understand. When husband, when they want to keep the leader, does not understand the concept of what he or she is doing. He begins to fall into sin. Like a uh, well known addict, when the use of a thing is not known, they are put is inevitable. Please, the Lord, don't say, I know about sin. Let us just sit tight and let the Holy Ghost teach us what He has for us. Why is it we go back to the basics and starting with sin? Woe, oh, sinful nation, all people heavy with iniquity, the seed of evil doers, sons who corrupt. See the way he defines sin to us. Woe, oh, sinful nation, heavy with iniquity, seed of evil doers, sons who corrupt. Sins corrupt. Sin contaminates. Sin destroys.
destroys. So they are forsaking the Lord, they have provoked the Lord of Israel to anger. They have gone away backward. Seeing this backwardness, seeing this separation from the Lord, and that's why James tells us, my brother, do not sin. Praise mighty Jesus. Sin is a rebellion against an authority. Sin, from where we read, as I've been sin comes from lack of knowledge of God. People claim to know God, and yet they are doing things that are going against His will. We don't know Him. Amen. Sin is as a result of corruption. How does sin enter into man? How does sin enter into man? Genesis chapter 3, 10 and 11. That was the story of Adam and Eve when God came down to the garden as usual in the cool of the day. They had the voice of the Lord walking in the garden and they ran. And God said, Adam, where are you? They said, Sir, I had to appear and I realized I'm in the place where I am. And the question is, who told you? Sin can be introduced. It starts with an information. So be careful of the information you hear, either directly or not. Most common through social media. Social media has become the major tool to bring a lot of people down. You see our children these days, they have all their accounts. I was kidding with my children. I don't even remember my own password or Facebook. I don't even go there any longer. But you see who have been TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and they have, and they delete. They remember how their password, and they are diligent enough to show their dancing move on all social media, and they are careful of their followers. Oh, but to open Matthew, they are flipping through Old Testament. If our youth are half diligent on the Bible, when they are on social media, all the time they feel overflow. We are having generations that are so distracted. Studies have shown that this generation is the most distracted generation ever known to mankind. You can't tell a youth to open Bible for one hour, it's snoring. Sin can be introduced. Sin can also be lured in. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 8 to 10, but I will pass from verse 10 because of our time. My son, if sinners entice you, this is what you do. Do not consent. They can lure you into sin. They can lure you into sin. Especially those that are of simple mind, simple being foolish. No, we don't have to partake in the wrong way. Just let us stay in the car. So that after we have wrong and run to the car, you will drive by it also. Our elders will say the one that stole oil at the roof and not taking it downstairs, they are both things. The one that not that they're not fornicate with us, just let us take us to the chagrin and if we are drunk, we will take us home. We are going to take that. Studies have shown that people that have done cancers are secondary smokers. Secondary smokers are those that they are, done, they are not smoking, but they are not smokers, so they can feel the little bit of smell. Sin can be attracted to a man through lust. L U S T. Lust. 1 John 2 50 to 17. Do not love the world or things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the Father is talking in the past, but as in the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. Lust is a, it's like an expert road to sinning. Lost. What is lost? Inordinate or uncontrolled attraction towards a thing. You will do anything, including the bad and the ugly, to attain that state. You are the lost. I often hear girls tell me, and he said, if I don't get pregnant for me, I don't know if it's love. How do you love and go your way? You don't have to fornicate to prove your love. And because of bad economy, let us not have two children first. Then you are not going to money for the for the dollar. That's not love. That is lost. I will tell you, if you have been there 
hear the voice you hear is ever. Those that sin after the law shall be judged after the law. But if you sin with the law, you will be judged with the law. Ten generation cause is on that individual that gets pregnant as I read law. Check your Bible. Don't say we have the blood of Jesus Christ. It says, would you be sitting as a fish in abound? This message is for somebody. Beware of sin. James 1, 3, James 1, verse 3 to 15. Let no one be tempted. Say, I am tempted of God. Because God doesn't tempt anyone. He says it this way. Each one is tempted by his own lust. Devil will not bring money to Samson. It will be the letter to Samson. Devil will not bring the letter to David or to Judas. It means money. So he understands exactly what your weaknesses are and use it against you. And if you are loving, that takes me to the next point. A weak will easily fall to sin. A weak will, Daniel. A weak will. Easily fall to sin. The Bible says in the book of it says if you faint in the days of adversity, the testament is that your strength is small. Some people say, I, I don't know how to go about it, though. I'm, I'm trying, yeah, but, but, but you fell into it. So we need to have a strong will that says, This doesn't work my destiny, this doesn't work my life. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. It's not by force, it's by choice. Leonie means they, they find attractive means to put one inside what he or she will not want to enter. Leonie means sin, no escapes. May the good Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. This next one can be a bit shocking. Sin can be inherited. Yes. Have you had this one before? Fathers have eaten so great. Give it to that set of age. Romans chapter 5, verse 12 says, Therefore, even as through one man sin enters the world and death by sin, so and so death passed on all men, in as much as all sin. Ask our mothers when, when they are when they are sucking their, their young ones. At the same time, the, the child tries to try his bond with the with the nipple. Who took the child? And more people that are when they buy the milk at their face, are you crying? Some people smile with their little teethless gum and they smile. And so the mother is missing in pain. Who took the child out to buy it? A damning nature. That's when God says, if anyone be in Christ is a new creator, all things have passed away. So if you are in Christ, all things have passed away, including sin. We could not help us in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like to take you us two evidences of how dangerous sin is. Sin is beyond that three letter word, S I N. Sin will give it a prolonged alphabet because it destroys everything that has to do with goodness and godliness. I want to give us an example from the book of Exodus. That was where Moses, chapter, chapter 4 now, verse 26, let me just paraphrase it. Moses was commissioned by God to go and deliver Israel out of Egypt. Moses told his wife, Sephora. Sephora understood and followed her husband. God sent them, him, the wife had been, he was empowered, the wife had been, they were going to fulfill destiny, and the Bible says in verse 4, God sought to kill him, stop, who sent him, God, who was he obeying, God, where was he going, where was he sent him, and he said God want to kill him, is it not like the opposite, and the horror, when they were caught, that's why I, I tell you, you courtship is not she must able to have a what does that mean? Mr. Pandora, thank you, or Ocean Basket. Well, it's part of it, but that's what the major reason for your courtship is to understand each other's 
fertile ground and dig up as many as you can dig. Love in caution as very sharp eye, evil eye. Love in marriage is blind, but in caution is wide open. Dig as much. Zipora and Moses, why they were cutting? Most people could have told him, ah, my great great grandfather Abraham as a covenant. He was sometimes all about male. He moved their first king and everything. And they rebuilt the beginning. The same Grand Moses forgot to sacrifice his own son. And that was why God met him on the way to kill him. So Moses had sinned. You see, it was that was even not stopping God from commissioning him. But anointing in sin is a time bomb. It will explode on your face. And that's why James said to us, brothers, don't sin. Not only in ministry, but every walk of life. And God sought to kill him. And Zipuna was trying to remember what led to all circumcision. Imagine a mother trying to make a knife out of a stone. He sharpened stone, or the stone became sharp, and he brought out her own child, who the first thing and caught it. Imagine the pain. Moses said, but there was intervention. Do you know that while the man was doing that, God was still trying to strangle his neck? We're now going to kill you again. Though I said to him, I will still kill you, I'm still good. And Moses was looking for his life. The plan was doing the evil. And when his king was off, the reason for the attack was corrected. And God let him. Did you get that? The same Moses in the book of Numbers, chapter 20, if you read from 7, 7 to 12. Moses, speak to this rock, don't strike this time. You, this thief next people, must we give you, must we, who are the we? Must we, me and God, give you water, and in carry his long stick, to so drop the rock. Something amazing happened. Water still came. People still drank. People still felt sorry for this thief next. But somebody had just crossed the line and God said, For what you have done, you will be seen in the end of the There was no intervention. People of this were not intervening from this time. The first time his wife was there, this time the wife was not there. And now he prayed with all his anointing, all the people set him at once as touching this matter. Don't talk to him about it. Ah! If I'm begging for me, if I'm doing now, please now, say, don't talk to me again. Because that is the end of the world. Am I right? Now, God says, eh, me and you, this case, go ahead and call. I will bless you for this, 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 this matter. He prayed and prayed nothing. The anointing still flowed. Ministers hear the word of God that you are walking in a mountain doesn't mean you are in God's alignment. What has he flowed? They still drank, but they are indeed in it disobedient. God's name is still exalted because he used the name of God, but the thing be my God. As powerful as Moses was, he didn't get to the promise. And that, that's what we have organized today. I have them in Sunday school. Okay, in the adult class. Yeah. You see on the movie, you will see S N L V. Sex, language, unity, and violence. In that book 16, 14, you see, you see sex, nudity, violence. This the thing is so simple. You need to come and come and watch, don't call me. They told you that this violence of this so is it of violence unto you, yet it's nice. They say it's a city of nudity, it's beautiful. They say this is a city of sex, because I'm an adult, I can go by it of sex too. A little here, a little there. That's how it works. I'm not part of the day. 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 Man, my heart stuck of it in my house. My mother was saying, but I'm not part of the day. 
So I wrote up on my phone. At a point, I was carrying knife and lift and lift in my avenue of the detective. So what I wrote up on my phone, I did my house on me and carried my knife. Because of what I was reading. At the point I had to talk, the boss I was looking at like a little bit ninja, I think it's bad here. It's not a it's not a uh, bandage, there's a knife there or blade. Because I'm trying to defend myself. Hey, guess who? What I have exposed to my mental capacity to. Devil is wise. Hear me. I'm powerful. He won't say, come, let us walk with it. He knows your answer. Just when they feel that it's been gift, just little bit of this point. You know, you know you are guilty. Yes, sir. I don't get to that thing because like, you are know, way too much. I think I have covered. I think you do all the time. The day I know I'm angry, I'm angry. I praise God. But these days, what are you going to do? What are you going to tell? How is your breast showing? What are you going to do? You go last for? And not only females, you don't think I'm biased. There is name, no, nothing on your head that sex and gain. Who is the let me let me let me put it to that for 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 more on on sin. When somebody sin, there are some things that come to the life of a man. I'm trying to sort of like get to the problem of the matter. Number one, sickness. Sin always brings sickness. It could be physical, it could be spiritual. Sin always brings sickness. I saw my practice says. Number two, sin always bring eternal separation. And that's why he says, I write these things to you that you do not sin. If you do sin, you have an advocate. Cry immediately. Sin brings eternal separation. We see that from the book of chapter 2, 17, and go and Revelation 20, level 15. That one is very scary. Please read, read, read that one. Revelation 20, 11 to 15. Sins bring eternal separation. When anybody sins, shame is your number one visitor. Shame. When they have the voice of the Lord moving on in the garden, the same voice that they hear, they had yesterday and they walk towards. They had to get the hand away because sin brings shame. Praise be to Jesus. Many will say on that day, Lord, Lord, have I not sinned? Man, so that's what and they, they, they cry to God in their shame, and the Lord will tell them, I don't know you. You may have prophesied in my name, you have been raised to death in my name. I don't care what you have done in my name. You did it in my name, not in your name, so I get the glory, but you get the shame. How do we are in the name of Jesus Christ? I heard of a five year old girl, parents trained up a child in the way you should go. In fact, I didn't know that I was in, and my wife, we were both in. I don't know the video that's going in. We went for a bad day in a party party. So, the bad day was like, that was a mountain of total fright. I was celebrating and I carried my spoon. I was already diving and I heard a tiny voice. Stop! Are you going to eat without praying? Myself, my wife, the father, our, 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 Yeah, no, I don't. It got echoes in the name of Jesus Christ. When you see death.
destiny is compromised. Destiny, the goal of the seed of sin is to contaminate the destiny. What the, the main reason why God has kept you and I alive is summarized as destiny. Sin is a major contaminant of destiny. You see that, that is a very sorry story. Judges chapter 16, verse 21. I was thinking I did this this, this this morning. And the Philistine took him, talking about Samson, and put out his eyes. They, they plucked out his eyes. Do you know what that means, the love of God? Look at me a while. Do you understand what that means? See, the enemy knows exactly what to do to cripple man. They don't be about the bush. They go straight for the for the jugular. There are breeds of dogs that when they attack any man, they know where to attack. They go straight for your neck. They go straight any white cat. They grab any animal. What about white life? They go straight for the neck. Who taught them? When enemy captures Samson, the first thing they did to him was to remove the lamp of his life. So he began to walk in perpetual darkness. No matter how strongly anointed you are, if you are blind, you are blind. What they did was, your strength is physical. You will need your digital glow called eyes to be removed in eyes. But eventually he gets strength again. Imagine something carrying his long sword with his strength and they give, try to give anything with him, with him like that. He will give everybody what good, bad, and ugly. So he said to God, who could not kill me? There's the only thing I want to do. And he died in the end because the light of his life was removed by a conspirator of sin. It was in the famous time that God it was the whole sin. Samson began to say the moment he was rebellious against his own parents. Go and give me that woman there. I want to marry Jew. I want to I want that fine girl in Babylon. Is that from there? Because a lot of people we can we can take a series from Samson and learn from it. When you sin, you are giving Satan access to your life. Assets, you are getting there. You give access to Satan before the Bible is when the edge is broken. Serpent will bite. This verse, Exodus chapter 10, 8 and 9, says, Even this a bit will fall into me. That's how it works. You give access. Amen. Sing attract cause. Of course, I don't need to do more of that. When you live in sin, every amount of cause, C U R S E, follows. Proverbs 2 says, As a bird by one river, swallowed by flying, so cause with that I. People did polar English. People just try, Cares without cause. Cares without cause. Shall not come. The meaning is this for every cause to come to the land, the man will be a reason. Amen. Ha. That is just the foundation of what sin is in summary. Now, now, Pastor, we are all human beings. I know I'm human beings too. I will have to you. Take this seat. Then what do you do? I don't want cause to be upon my head. I don't want to walk in the very big sin. I want I know God. Just that like they did sin Bashiva. What do I do now? Five steps. Quickly. These are the five steps you must do. When you run into error, so that they will not take advantage of you. The Bible says, I say, then walk in the spirit and you shall feed the lust of flesh. Walk, how do you walk in such a way that sin will not have dominion over us? This is not to say.
saying that you should go and live with this thing. And I apply this fight. No. No. If you find yourself in the mode of sin, very sticky and messy, like a sick hole, what do you do? Number one. Number one. Do not do self-pity in sin. Write it down quickly. Do not do self-pity in sin. Oh, I am saying pity my life now. Oh, you are going to say, you don't have time for, for all those. You don't have time. Do not do self-pity in sin. Romans chapter 5, 8 and 9, but God commands not to us us in that while we are yet sinner, Christ died for us. The way of escape from the sin is not through your works. You were delivered by the finished work of Christ. So run back to that God. He will deliver you. You are justified not by your works, but by the works, the finished work of Christ. Here what he says is much more than now being justified by his blood. So you don't do self-pity. When you do that, what you are doing is that I have the capacity to deliver myself. How in hell did I fall? And of course, the devil will want to do it to isolate you. And that's why you don't have time to do self pity. Romans chapter 3, 23 and 24. Verse 24 says, Be justified freely. Be justified freely. By his grace, you will remember that your deliverance is in Christ. You see the same thing in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, 8 to 10. Just a little bit of our time. And Romans chapter 2, verse 4. Let me go to number 2 quickly. I said Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, and Romans 2, 4. Number 2 quickly. Understand this. You are in a battleground. Understand this, you are in a battleground. And sin is one of the weapons you your enemy is doing against you. So when you fall under such a business situation, number one, no self-pity. Number two, understand that you are in a battleground. Ephesians 6 13. Therefore, take to yourself the whole armor of God that you will be able to withstand the evil day. And haven't done all, other than that fact, haven't done all, stand. Your redemption, your redemption is not through your works. You claim it. Make sure you stand. And I put Revelation 27 to, to, to give us more ground to understand the fact that you are in a battlefield. The devil is consistently looking for me to make him fall. And God is there all the time to make you stand. So who is he going to win? God or the devil over your life? Number three. Number three. Please let me repeat that one to go. Confess it. Not slowly. Immediately. I love David. I have sinned. Please pray for me. Don't, don't go like that. Go like that. I never look back to my sin. Your sins are forgiven. Abba, just like that, your sins are forgiven. Come back then. So, you have seen. Which do you know that you have seen? Ah, kingdom is off your hand. Confess it immediately. He says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us. Proverbs chapter 28, 13. He says, he who covers his sin shall not prosper. So the evidence to prove to the earth is that you do not like what you have done is to confess his past. Ah! I have sinned. It is an assurance to the earth that you do are not willing to cooperate with how you fail. In number four, Identify your triggers. I will need to study how you fell. I will be for this, for this passage. Therefore, strengthen your feeble hands and your weak knees. 
make levy depart so that the people will not be laid but rather be healed. Therefore, strengthen your people and and your people. Study how you fail so that you will not fall into trouble again. I love that part. I, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are. Look at the first question chapter 12. Then, therefore, strengthen your feeble hands and your weak knees. Make level the path. Serve God in that your area in the way God will want it. And see what God will do. Turn on that question here. I used to be a gasoline with anger. Gasoline, I would have stood at any time. Turn God, see where I am. And I feel a good God, I feel a work in progress. If you are a liar, you no, 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 need to be ashamed of it. Are you rather going to be ashamed and I'll get that hell? If I fall in ghetto, you are having extra self cheek or self self cheekies. Now, they call them, they call them fancy me now, Ben 10. And you are having, they say you are Ben 10. Seriously. Now, it is not a crime for a school kid to be smoking. Now it's not a plan for a guy to say, I love see my wife beautiful. Let me become a girl. And then my change is said to be a girl. Now the law allows it. Ha! Would you rather not just say, hey, I have seen you? Laugh me all you want. Please just pray for me. Because I know that God still has prayed with me. God says, if anyone sin, let the elders pray for him. So, I'd rather be ashamed in your presence than God being ashamed of me. I have finished delivering the message. And now here is the question. Are you ready to live a life free of sin? You will start by acknowledging what you have done. Are these areas you are done? Is between you and God? I will confess my own. Can we borrow two minutes or so and go before God? Ah, you are familiar with my weaknesses. You know where I have wronged you. I have come naked before you. Please, Lord, show me mercy. 